Pasco County school officials are addressing the bus driver shortage, cutting some routes. Around 3,000 students who live within two miles of their middle or high school will no longer be able to hop on the bus starting next school year. 10 Tampa Bay, Shannon Chloe joins us live right now from 301 in Pasco, where some parents say it's not safe for their kids to walk. Well, Carolina, I'm not too far from Centennial Middle. This is a route some kids will take before they make it there. They have to cross 301, which is about four lanes of traffic, cars traveling at 50 miles per hour, some parents showing concerns, but the district telling me this is one way they're addressing that bus driver shortage. It's a busy road. I mean, people fly down that road. As a mother of two, she couldn't imagine her kids walking to Centennial Middle School having to cross 301. It's not safe. For some kids, their walk to school means crossing a busy road like this. And in some cases, there are no sidewalks to walk on. Being a working parent, I can't always, you know, pick my kids up if they were in school. District officials tell me about 3,000 kids who have bus passes and live within two miles of their school need to figure out another way in the fall. Some live a half a mile away. They can walk to school. Um, some kids bike to school and sometimes parents carpool. The district says they're cutting what they call courtesy routes. The bottom line is that we don't get any funding for students who live within the two mile radius. Eliminating routes should help with the bus driver shortage. Haggerty says the district is short about 54 bus drivers. We're just trying to do everything that we can to get rid of the, um, the, the chronic late buses that we have, and this is one of those strategies. As thousands find a new way to school, he understands there are safety concerns. We have heard um, and we're well aware that there are some areas where the sidewalks end before uh, you know, students could get to school. Which is why the district works with county officials. We work with the county all the time to put uh, sidewalks in for students because we do want kids to get to school safe. And the district telling us that let's say you live near a construction zone, maybe you're near a highway, they can approve a bus route for you, but that's case by case. This all boils down to that bus driver shortage, so if you want to be a bus driver, you can apply online. And this topic is, is expected to be brought up at tomorrow's school board meeting. We will be there to keep you updated as concerns are addressed.